Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, my 2015 Game of the Year playthrough edition. Uh, last time, uh, last time we basically ended up here, which is the Cheese Guys Factory, Cheesecake Factory. It's ha it's seen better days, I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, we got chased by another Lucian, the Lucians are up to get me, and we ran into some uh, Fallen Knights or something, something like that, that is um, well, well, well beyond my level. So this time, um, what I decided to do, um, we're looking at the quests. Um, so the main quest we got is Broken Flowers, which is go to the Rosemary in time, because um, we're trying to find Dandelion. We also got Following the Thread, um, which is also level 11. And now usually, um, because Following the Thread is a secondary quest, I would go for that one. Um, but that one mm, is quite, it's like a continuous quest kind of. It's very long and it involves um, doing a bunch of things in Skalaga, um, one of my favorite places, if I haven't mentioned that before, which I have, um, so I'm not going to do that one yet, because I don't want to sort of half do it, and then stop, and then basically wait until I get to Skalaga to do it, so we'll do that one, um, once we've got access to Skalaga, a little bit better, um, and then we've got like Black 13, uh, Black Pearls level 13, which is again in Skalaga, um, little red 15 that one the Horner house is level 7 um, so I'm already out of the 5 level cap for that one so it's kind of like oh, shit and then all of my contracts the lowest one is an elusive thief I believe yeah level 13 so what we're going to do is I think we'll go we'll do the haunted house because I think that's a pretty quick one just to get it out of the way uh, we won't get Jack for doing it but you know whatever and then we might go on and do broken flowers which is the main story so we'll progress the main story a little bit more so the haunted house let's go to our map haunted house haunted house we're not going there anymore because that's that's bad news haunted house so it's right right up there so we'll go to Horrock square all right we back and i'm also still on the lookout for bear fat too if any of you guys want to sell me some beer fat, yeah, that'd be great. Just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't say no to some beer fat right about now. Yeah. I need it for potions and what have you. Which is stuff. I've talked to him before about it, about beer fat. Not going to talk to a priest of the eternal fire, though. Ugh. What a waste of time that is. All right, which is sense. So, oh, here it is here. Found it. Uh, oh, get in there, girl. There we go. There we go. Well, you wanted braids. Ooh. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I <laughs> don't want them. <laughs> what the hell's going on in here? Witcher, Witcher. Kareem, look who's come. Oh, look, they're all chummy now. Huh. Live here together now. Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares. I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him, or her. I came in to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why, but we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. Coolio. And that, that's all we need to do here. I've looted this place dry. At least he's restocked. That's pretty cool though. So because we didn't kick um, Sierra out and we told a, a lie to the banker, we are basically... You know, Corrine and her are friends now. Isn't that sweet? I feel good. We do good, gear up. We do good. Alrighty. <laughs> now that's done. Let's go to the Rosemary in Time. Find our dear friend Dandelion. Who has apparently inherited a brothel. <laughs> which, trust me, is right up his alley. Oh, there's a salesperson here. Let's talk to you, man. Oh. This is a quest now. Oh, I just wanted some beer fat. Leave him alone. And who might you be? Temple guard undercover. 
at least I tried. No, no, concerned citizen. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town, then. You're making the mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't... Oh... I mean, if I say I have to convince you, that's just going to end up in me uh, murdering them. Uh, but if I try mind control, you never know. I, I do like my mind control. This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. <laughs> Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies and fare thee well. I, uh, got to go brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to floss. It's the most important part. Go home, merchant, and try not to come around here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean, both, yes. Thank you, sir. You're gonna. Knackered. You're gonna sell me stuff? Yes? No? I, I just want a beer fat. Damn it. I'm never gonna get that shit. I'm gonna have to go kill a thousand beers just to get some. Well, I do like killing bees. Never come back, you stinking skaggies. All we wanted was. Is that a... Don't yes, give a you. flying fuck what you wanted. Get. Um, Zoltan, is it you, buddy? <laughs> Next time, I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. <laughs> yeah. I like Zeldin. Gear up in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't gone more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Can't refuse you, Zoltan. Let's do this shit, Vagrant. Get him. But do you not know I'm the fist fighting? I'm the fist fighting champion of the uh, Valon. There's their place. Get him. Got another one. Where are they? Roll it away. Get him. Pop. Ow. Get him. Damn you, Vagrant. Big swing, Garrett. Got him. Right, where's the last one? No, he's not in. You're halfway through the door. Alright, come on. Big swing, Garrett. Oh. Got him. That guy was bloody shifting through the, the door. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you? Um, uh, no, no. I'll, I'll let him know. I've got to follow him in. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the wild hunt. Oh. Not good. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. We have a wee problem then. Um, yeah, where is Dandelion? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Well, just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. And what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. 
Looting? Oh, I see what I want. But let's let. Oh, there's another litter. Litter from Fran. And. Aha! A note from a grateful muse. <laughs> Reading and someone else's I'm letters. overburdened. Hold on. Hold on, boys. I'm going to have to interrupt you there. Shit. Hold on. There is a stash over here, isn't there? Yes, there is. My visage red and hot. I plunged into purest ecstasy, imbibing its nectar. Your dexterous digits on my soul's yearning cords. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to quickly stash some stuff. Because I am well overburdened. I took up one piece later, and I'm over freaking burdened. Alright. Uh, I want to sell this stuff, but I'll, I'll stash all this stuff away. And um, when we can sell it, I guess we'll come back and sell it. Because I just got to double check now that's actually better than what I've got. Because that would really annoy me. And of course I can't use my cat school gear to level 17, because that's another story. Uh, right. Store, 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 store. Yeah, it got me some room. I really should store my rune stones, but they don't take up a lot of space. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better. Alrighty, what we got? What's your sense? Or should I say looting sense? Ooh, what's that? Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Harry won them sell did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught us why to yodel and I... Another time. <laughs> Dear Zoltan. What's that? I want to see his painting. Okay, if I can get it. There we go. No, nope. Zoltan's in the way. Come on, Zolt. There we go. Hmm. Nose is too small. Aye, <laughs> the sword's too big. Uh, by the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern. <laughs> Technique's not quite right, but you gotta admit he's doing it with gusto. It's a badass looking painting. However, it's probably about 0.0% uh, correct. Or likely. Right, well, Zoltan's given up looking. He's just sitting. So it's up to me to carry the team by looting everything for myself. Sorry, Zoltan. You missed your cut, buddy. Yes. 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 Uh, I keep looking at that chest, but it's the freaking stash thing. Does Danny Dine have any beer fat? I really would like some. Oh, this is something read. The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that dumb fool name. All right. Interesting. Ladle. Nice. Oh, another red chest. From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. So that's basically saying he likes to drink a lot. Just fair enough, you know? Oh, another letter. Oh, I'll get to the letters. I'm, I'm not a terribly big reader. As you probably know by now if you've been watching. Nah, I'm not a terribly fine. Oh, a loot. Why would he leave his loot here? It's like, um... It's blasphemy for a dandelion. <laughs> this is the loot he got from the elves of Dolbothana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Yeah, he... he I don't think he would go many places without his loot, to be fair. Alright, let's... Loot. Speaking of loot, let's loot. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Alright, I think that's about all I can get. Oh, no, there's one more. One more letter. Which I'm not going to read, but I'll still pick it up. Alright, I will steal his booze. And now... Oh, no. That's about all we can loot on the loot... Loot on the loot floor. I'm, I'm tongue-tied on that loot. All right, let's loot that. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry. Five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no. That's exactly what we're looking for. It's his planner. <laughs> Sorry, I like this one. Huh. Dandelion and planning. Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. 
Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, well, no, they, they could help, I suppose. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half to dedicate <laughs> the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. It looks like Geralt and Zoltan are on the case again. Tune in next week. Nah, I don't know. Right, read. Read, 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 read. Where is it? There it is. He's got Rosa Varathra. Hmm. Something. Molly. Not that creative a name for this time. Vispula. Marabella. And Ellie, Ellie Hall. Ellie Hall. I don't know. Ellie Hall. Alright. Alright. Cool. Cool, man. Um, talk to Zoldan. Well, he's right there. Let's do that. Still here? Looking for something? Ugh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Um, let's just go down the list, shall we? Probably the easiest way to do it. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A Baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. <laughs> well, you know, there's a point to that, I suppose. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. <laughs> huh. Truly perverse. She did a kind half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's a fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled her bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dandelion. Dear oh dear. Spula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's up. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Yes, soul flames never die. Interesting. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa of our atre named her Guhir. Well chosen, eh? All right. Varatra. <laughs> oh, Dad get up. to be the Nilf Guardian ambassador? He is. You know him? Wouldn't we say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sword play. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common sword master? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire her next victim. 
I mean, instructor. Oh, goody. I think that's the thing we should do, gear up, maybe. Just, just saying. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <laughs> all right. Well, that seems like a good, good few uh, starting off places. That's all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Cool. So now we got a whole list of people to um, talk to. Oh, sorry, Dandelion's uh, love interests. But first of all, there's at least a second floor to this place. Oh, and I already see loot. Oh damn. Oh, oh, how do I how do I get to that shit? Come on, Geralt. You know you want it. This is for the looting powers. Yes. Come on, Geralt. Damn it. Can we jump up there? We can jump on it. I want that sack, Geralt. Don't fall. There we go. Yes. The powers of looting can never be stopped. Alright, this is a third floor as well. Holy shit, how big this place is. I got a new marker. What the hell's that? Dead rats. Um. We are certainly going to need to clean this place up. God oh, damn it, Dandelion. We're always doing your dirty work. But, you know, consider this not looting then. Consider this cleaning. I'm just I'm just cleaning for a Dandelion. You know, helping him out a little bit. There's loot outside I want. <laughs> yeah, this isn't looting. This is... Oh, Jesus. Helping him tidy. I guess we just go room to room and quote unquote tidy. Which is okay by me. Especially if he's got some beer fat up here. That would always be nice. Ready more. Uh, be hide. Oh. Alright, time to clean the next room. Damn, there's going to be a lot of cleaning in this room to do. Got a lot of cleaning. Dandelion. No, damn it. Damn it, Geralt. You were looting. I mean, candlelight. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Green cards. Why can't I pick them up? I should so be able to pick them up. I would take them any day. I'll take them over all this loot. Green cards. There's a lot of water up here, too. This room? Or this room I've just been in? That's the one I've just been in. Just so busy tidying, I can't even remember where I've been. More dead rats. More green cards. Damn it. Alright. I guess they've tidied up the second floor. Let's try the third floor. Ooh. Salt pepper, damn you. Damn you, salt pepper. Oh, there's a door there. I want to get... Oh, locked. What? So we just dandelion lock doors. Um... I guess that's all the cleaning I can do on this floor. Cool. See, the rosemary and thyme is nice and cleaned. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Get down, girl. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Um, anything else for Zoltan to do? Had another question about the planner. Aye, aye. I'm all ears. Um, no. Okay. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Okay, cool. Alright, so I guess the only thing to do now... Where's the door? There's the door. Oh, the back door. So we've got all these people to talk to. Uh, Dandelion's love interests. Which should hopefully give us a lead or two. So let's start. We might as well start now. Why not muck around? Let's go... There's one right here. Um, let's just go do that. So we'll head off a few people now. And we'll finish the rest off next time. What the hell? What the hell? Was that the guard? Did you hear that? It was like, he's on who? Ooh, this looks... Um... Uh, this is gonna end well. Give me a week, please. 
Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> what you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. We enter his Geralt. <laughs> Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Ooh, options. So we could pay. If I say this Buell has got new protection, that means I'm going to have to fight them and kill them. And if I say that, then I'm going to have to fight them and kill them. Um, mm, screw it. Let's... Yeah. Uh, no, we're going to fight them. Screw it. Spew has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Uh, mine, I guess. Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. Oh, it's on, Donkey Kong. Quinn. Come on, come closer. All right, what do we got? 10, 11. That guy's got a freaking spear. Let's try a bit of... Big swing of a girl. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this guy's almost dead as well. Got, got a, what's that guy doing? He's got... Oh, he's... He just like short arm um, jabbed his freaking leg off. That guy's headless. It's you and me now, boy. And big swing. Damn it. Oh, I'll get a big swing. Oh, ouch. That's gonna sting. Covered in blood, all of it. So much work for naught. No need You're welcome. to thank me. Yeah. It was nothing. Sorry. Well, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Uh, yeah, let's straight to business. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Um, yeah, I, I know it's Dandelion, but was he that straight up about it? Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. Okay. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvier, more likely. <laughs> Zing! Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Hmm. Well, well, I guess we got all we can um, get from her then. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean... Tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. Coolio. All right, well, first thing is up first. I'm going to go back and loot these guys. Ooh. Sandwiches. Don't want to take your hatchet. Oh, I don't need your hatchet. It's kind of shitty. Water I'll take. And what's this guy got? Ooh. Oh, no. I don't really want arrows. As you know, I um, use my uh, crossbow very, uh, very, very loosely. You know, just all over the show. All right, next one. So that's one person down. So te 
talk to Elihow. Elihow? I'm going to say that right eventually. Elihow. I'm going to... Elihow. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've been here. This is the... Yeah. I... Yeah. I have been here I'm before. A friend of Dandelions. Looking for Elihow. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? You're Push not a girl. Hmm. You, Elihow? Yes. Elihow. Now pick Told you. Yeah. Off the Elihow. Floor. Sorry, I thought. I thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? <laughs> uh. So you are. Elihal. Elihal, gotcha. Ooh. Did you and Dandelion. I mean. How did you two meet? <laughs> I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. <laughs> and, uh, and then? What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're <laughs> getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. All right, let's just go down the list, I guess. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Alright, and what did you talk about? What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Mm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him. Yeah, that should be quite cool. You're too late, I fear. Oh. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid. Sucks flaccid. <laughs> what a way to go. That is awesome. I know this is none of my Now for the question that um, everyone wants to know about. Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a dockside thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. Yeah, it has its moments. Interested. Yeah. Alright, thanks, man. Thanks for your help. And uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Ooh. Well, actually, you know what I can do with you? I'm pretty sure I can. Hold on. So let me just double check before I promise anything. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Yeah. Let's finish off this episode, because it's going, it's about near the finish, um, with playing a little bit of cards with the dear old, uh, Ali. Ify, uh, Ali How. I'll get, uh, I, I don't really care. Mind a few rounds of yeah, cards. so let's play some cards. See if we can get a cool card off him. So I bet she has a cool card. I got Vesemir, that's right. Awesome. So, I'll put you in. And I have to get rid of... Ooh, who to get rid of? Um, Let's get rid of you. Yeah, I don't really like you. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, both go nor northern rounds and I get to go first. Awesome. Ooh. Um... Uh, this hand's kind of a bit iffy. Hmm. Let's get rid of the fog, blue stripe, and let's get rid of you. 
Awesome, we got two blue stripes. And we got I see we've got my power plate combo there as well. Awesome. Alright. Let's just go uh, blue stripe full fundral. From the start. The blue stripe full frontal attack. Initiate. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use Roach straight away. Um. Let's throw down Vizimir. Which gives me seven points. Ooh, you bastard. Alright. Let's throw out. Uh, I suppose Kira. He's still coming. Oh, um, screw it. Let's just go Roach. Damn, I've already used five cards. Six cards. Shit. All right, now he's passed. All right, good. That makes me feel a little bit better. And pass. Oh, good card. What have we got? Ooh. Ooh. Commander Swarm. Fair enough. Alright. Well. How about you? Shit. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. What? What do I want to do? Hmm. I mean, I have a plan. Uh. Ah, uh, oh, screw it. Do this. And I'll get back you. Well, actually, I'll give it to you. Let's see what cards I get. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you can do that. I don't care. I ain't really fond of that. And you can have that oh my god this plan is working out awesomely um okay don't know what that did because that just all right whatever you can have Dijkstra as well awesome plan is working well you can have this and I'll let you have this round actually hold on no you can't I'll do that no you can't have this round Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's all right. I think I might even try and take him this round. We'll do that. Yes. Ah. Well. Now we'll pass. Although, I don't know. Let's not pass. Let's do that. <laughs> hold on. Let's let's not get so hasty with ourselves. Oh. Um, play you? We might beat him this round. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. I like that. Oh man, I had such a good combo coming too. I'll eat you away because I like you. I was, I was about to pass and just take this to the third round, but nah, screw it. We won. Two round victory. And good card. Bad, ugly. Ah, that's a square tail card, I bet. Alright, guys, well, that was cool anyway. Um, so, yeah, we might call it an end there. So, we've got three more people to hit up on um, Dandelion's love list. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Flapping Kiwi with, uh, as always, sorry, with my Witcher 3 Wild Hunt 2015 Game of the Year Playthrough Edition. As always, have a good one, and remember, stay on the path.